Well, Sarah, you are the best. Thank you for um, <laughs> being here. I have to, I always remember I have to look straight forward because I always look at right. myself and then it looks like, like bug eyed. So Same. first off, how are you doing during this weird pandemic time? Like how's your mental health? How's life? Honestly, life has, hasn't been as bad as I thought it would. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually interesting because I feel like I'm finding out a lot about myself that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought I was very um, like an uh, extrovert. I loved being out and that I hated, that's how I thought I was, that I hated just like being home. But now I'm actually loving it. I'm like, I'm having so much time to do things and try new hobbies and passions kind of make it come to life. So I'm trying to focus on the good things because if I want to focus on the bad things, there's literally a million and one things. And I feel like when I do that, that's when I'm going to have those bad days or those times or those times where I just don't want to do anything. So I'm like, let me focus on the things that I have and that I'm grateful for. I have a house, I have food, I'm staying home, but I'm safe. My family's safe. So yeah, that's what's been carrying me <laughs> throughout this season. Right. No, I love that. this season as if we're like <laughs> Julie and Sarah season one pilot. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, no, I really appreciate that. Honestly, I think for me, um, I think, yeah, being positive and really just allowing good stuff in your life. Yeah. I think this time also is kind of, I've been reflecting on what's really important in life. I talked about it kind of on my YouTube channel about allowing like manifesting good stuff into your life yeah. and then yeah. things that no longer bring you happiness, joy, peace, mm -hmm. excuse me, to just kind of let that go. Um, I think for me, you know, I've had a lot of changes when the, within this last few months, like yeah, personally, um, uh, with my like job, um, yeah. and it really, you know, you see things from a different perspective. And I think as we get older, you know, I know we have a little bit of an age difference between us, but like, whatever, we're still in our twenties. I think, and you're very mature for your age. Like, I think that's why we can vibe on this type yeah. of level because you're just a beautiful soul. Oh, um, <laughs> and you're just, you're just a great person all around. I think as we get older in life, people come and people go yeah, um, in our lives. And, you know, it's a hard transition, but I truly believe that people are in our lives for a certain reason at a certain point in our lives. And then sometimes they go yeah. and sometimes they come back. And if they don't, it's just kind of the way it's meant to be. So really that's just kind of transitioning into change and how, it can be really hard in life, but then also if someone isn't in your life anymore, whether that's a friendship, romantically, professionally, whatever, mm -hmm. if someone's no longer in your life and you feel better with them, not in the picture, I think that says a lot. Yes, you know? definitely. Yeah. I talked to Craig about it and he was just very, he's very straight to the point. Um, and <laughs> right. Well, and I think too, like people are dying from this horrible virus and you really, really value life on a whole new level mm -hmm. because some people are so wrapped up in their own shit, you yeah. know, and selfish, vain, worried about me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, wait, the whole world doesn't revolve around you. And that's a humbling idea. And I think I have to remind myself that too. Oh yeah. It's an everyday, I think it's an everyday kind of thing where it's like, you can't, you just have to like put it in your mind. Right. Right. And I think it's just, it's challenging for me, you know, like I've, I've mentioned to you, some days are different. Some days, some days are better and some days are worse. And some days I think just continuing to just kind of, my dad always uses the phrase, just keep plugging away, just keep plugging yeah. away and keep doing the best that you can do because we're all human. You know, we all feel emotion. We all have character defects. We all like blah, 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 blah. But it's just, my mind has changed completely during this yeah. pandemic. And I feel like I see things even more clearly than I ever did before. What do you, how does that make you feel? 
Yeah, no, I love that. And I think also um, with kind of just like reminding yourself every day and that it's also okay to have these bad days where I feel like it's just acknowledging it. I feel like acknowledge it and be like, hey, and even like, I think a great thing to do, especially during the season is like start journaling. Mm. It's just like, get your journal, go have like five to 10 minutes and just write everything that you're feeling. I feel like that's such a good way to kind of get your mind back into like a great level or just kind of keep you firm on where you are and like the things that you want to achieve during this time. Absolutely. And I think to mental health professionals during this time, like I, I did a um, Zoom session with my therapist a few, oh, you know, a month or a month ago. And I think that's so like, I commend mental health workers and doctors and nurses all across the, the world and, you know, dealing with such emotional stuff and mm-hmm. also dealing with your own personal shit. And I think that's so hard when, you know, you're going through your own stuff as an individual, but then you have to take care of other people. I mean, I just commend these men and women and, you know, everybody in the healthcare industry for sure. and what they do because it's like, shit, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble just functioning in my own life. Exactly. And then, you know, seeing all these brave, brave people. I mean, it's just, it blows my mind in a good way. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very, it's very inspiring. Right. Um, And also I try to think of like the things that I can do to help, even though I'm not in the front lines of, you know, being with the patients, what are some ways that I can help my community or like my friends be in a better place? Right. That's like helping with meals or going grocery shopping for a mom that has three kids and can't go grocery shopping by herself, or if it's making masks, like whatever it is, you know, just trying to do that. Also that that's like a huge part that makes me happy is like helping others. Mm -hmm. So also finding what makes you happy and how you can try to incorporate that into this change of life that we have. Absolutely. No, you said it, you said it so well. I think just the little things, you know, how the little things count, I think much more than we give ourselves credit for. I think even just lending an ear when someone's having a hard time, I think be, being able to talk about it is such an important thing because like you said, journaling or talking about it, like having these healthy outlets to be able to, you know, talk about what we're feeling. Cause you know, like I've said a million times and you're probably like, Oh, Julie, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, you know, this is such a new thing for all of us. Yeah, We're all yeah. taking it as it comes and there's not much else we can do. And I think, yeah, just taking one day at a time and focusing on that, those next steps, you know, so. Exactly. And I think a great thing to do right now too is I've been hearing a lot of people saying like, we'll never go back to how it used to be, like our world and kind of just preparing for that too. Like we're not going to be able to go to concerts the same way or, you know, go to a buffet the same way. So just kind of getting that into your head already. So then it's not a huge shocker. Right, right. Being realistic. Yes, exactly. Just being realistic that, you know, there are precautions that are going to have to be taken and just be easy on yourself. If you can't, oh, sorry, my dog almost fell. That's okay. Bring, bring, bring her in or him. I always forget. He's on the chairs. I'm sorry. If you hear anything weird, it's because of this, of this munchkin. (laughs) A little guy. Wait, I always, is, your dog a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay, sorry. It does have like a, no, it's okay. It does have a little, little ponytail. But That's just me following the, t- the typical gender norms. I should be ashamed <laughs> of myself. <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah. Um, so how's, how's your last few weeks? I guess, I mean, it depends. I, maybe you're, you're already done. I have a, like. For school? The 20th is when my last two papers are due. How are you doing in school? Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of like a bittersweet moment because um, with change, I think college for me was a huge eye-opening. Um, I graduated um, high school, like, I did not want to go to college. I was like, I'm so against it. I don't want to do this. And then I just went to community college and it felt like high school all over again. I'm like, what is this? Like, this is not how people talked about it. This is not how it was. That was like a huge change for me. Also just driving distance where 
I live, I still live really close by to the high school and middle school, which is literally two minutes from my house. I could walk there. Mm -hmm. And then my community college was about 20 minutes away. So that was like a huge change for me. And it's like little things like that. But to me, it made such a huge difference. Like the time of waking up or, you know, right. having to be somewhere at a certain time and make sure that you're planning everything to get there. Mm -hmm. And then going to SF State, which to me was like, I was terrified, completely terrified last spring when I first came in, just driving to BART, taking BART, taking the bus, like that was all, all crazy. So yeah, I mean, my last few weeks have been bittersweet because I know it's coming to an end and I loved it so much. No, I'm so I, glad we met though. I know, me too. Me too. I mean, I'm don't, like I said, you're not getting rid of me that easily. Exactly. No, 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 definitely not. I can, I can figure out where you live. Um, oh yeah. That's, that's give me the address. Exactly. Right. That's but so no, I, sure. I think that's such a good point though, because I think it's like, that was kind of a similar scenario for me where I spent a lot of time in a community college, which, um, I was very thankful for uh, up until now. I don't, I didn't have any student debts. I was very grateful right. for that. Awesome. Um, and my community college was actually quite hard. Um, I wish mine was a little bit harder. Surprisingly, <laughs> and for me, I told another friend of mine that, going to SF State was like honestly a cakewalk for me. It's been, it's up until these last bigger papers. Yeah. It's been pretty easy um, for me personally, because I think my um, professors at the community college were just kind of like tough asses, you know, which yeah. I'm thankful for, but then also no, those are like, so good. Yeah. We, you know, it's like, I, I was, I felt the same way. I'm like, Oh my God, it's big girl time. I, I, gotta, I gotta get, you know, and then I was like driving to San Francisco and I was like, kind of nervous but you know we figured it out and you know that always it's always how it happens we're like oh my god I can't do something and then I feel like we always um imp imp impress ourselves you know because I know that you felt that way too so yeah and I think it's so important to look even though like these are they may seem like little things I feel like they make such a huge difference and it's kind of just like going back and like acknowledging like it might not be that degree yet but hey like you're at this state school, you are trying your best, you know, to pass these classes. Right. And I mean, you deserve something. <laughs> Go get yourself like a right. double. Exactly. Like we should give ourselves a little clap because I think that's, I think it's a big accomplishment. I think in society today, there's so many um, typical you know, a typical timeline of how we see students, you know, from high school, boom, right into college, done in four years. It's like, that was never um, a timeline for me. I always knew I wanted to pursue my higher education. Yes. But when I moved when I was 18, I was kind of farting around for a little bit. <laughs> you know, I didn't really know what to do. I, and then I went to the community college. I was there for a long time. And but, you know, I finally found my kind of flow and I know you have too. And it's, it's a great yeah. feeling when it's you finally really feel like, boom, this is what I'm doing. This is what I, I love to do. And I'm just going with it. I think that's such a, exactly. uh, I felt more myself now, surprisingly. I know it's like Seriously. conversations kind of all over the place, but I felt more myself now during this COVID time in the sense of. I know what I want, you know, like I told you, I quit my job of four years because I knew it wasn't the right path for me anymore. And it's not like I was having hours anyway, but mm -hmm. having that opportunity and just kind of this experience has pushed me towards that is I guess kind of a blessing in disguise. Yeah, it is. And that's definitely how I'm taking it too. Um, there's so many opportunities that I've been able to take on because we are stuck at home and I can, I have more time and more, um, more resources that I can call people and talk to and kind of that I wouldn't be able to if we were on our normal day routine where it's like exactly. 12, 12 hour work days or school days, um, and things like that. But yeah, so now I'm also stepping now into like another change as I'm graduating and that's also like so scary, but I feel like I've been, I've been really like thinking about it in the last few months and, you know, like take it easy on yourself, you know, like you're not going to have it figured out right, right after you graduate. Like you will go through like different jobs and that's okay. And you know, I'm that one of those per people that I don't want to have the same job for like 
the rest of my life. Like I'm one of those people where like I have new ideas and I want to try new things. Um, so it's just being okay with that and not kind of following that traditional, um, that traditional path where it's like, you're going to graduate college. You're going to get one job. You're going to stay there for the rest of your life, you know? Right. Right. And if you really think about it, you know, I knew people when I graduated high school in 2011, I'm 26. And I knew a lot of people who graduated in four years, got their master's degree, boom, boom, boom. And it took them eight years to find a career, a job in the career field that they went to. So I think it's important to embrace your journey. I know that's like kind of cliche and corny, but it's so true. You know, you really have to embrace where you're at. Don't compare yourself to people. I tend to do that a lot. Me too. And just, Craig was like, you need to be, you can't be so hard on yourself, you know? And I think that's something that people have to remind themselves, you know, we're just doing the best that we can and just continuing to do the next right thing yeah. um, is important. So we're all on our little journeys here and I am so glad ours intertwined exactly. Um, because we obviously have a lot in common and yeah. your husband is an amazing media director yes. of his own company, everyone. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I appreciate your talking and just kind of like being real and that's kind of what I love to do on my channel is just talk about real life stuff. And, you know, I think I like to be able to give out little nuggets of wisdom and be able to help people in any way that I can. So thank you for just being the awesome person you are and also supporting me too, because you're, yes. you're, you're a great cheerleader. I hope <laughs> you know, I cheer you on too. And I think you're amazing. So. Thank you. Thank you. It's a yeah. pleasure. Thank uh-huh. you for having me. Yeah. Well, you're the best. So Anyway, well, I hope you have a great day, and I hope I can figure out the end of this recording thing. <laughs> That'd be so awkward if this whole thing didn't even do it, but I'm sure it does. That's just me. No, and it's recording. Time. Perfect. All right, lady. Well, thank you so much, and I'll probably pop this up on the tube later. Yeah, today. let me know. That's you okay. You can tag, I mean, both of my channels or just one. Yeah, I'll be like, link in the description box. Yay. No, for Bye. sure. I'll do that. I'll sub- <laughs> subscribe. I only post on one though, but yes. I know. I get, sometimes I get haters on my videos, but I'm like, you know what? Without the haters, who are we? You know what I mean? You need a little hate. I need some hate to humble me. (laughs) Exactly. Wait, but who's hating on your stuff? I don't know. Some basic bitches probably. You know, that's the thing, Sarah. I mean, some people just want They, you know, they want me to be honest, but when I'm honest, they don't like my honesty. Oh, yeah. You you can't please anyone. Right. And, you know, whoever's watching this, my job is not to make you feel secure as a human being. That's inside you. That's your motherfucking job on the inside. That's an inside job. That's not Julia's job. You got to take care of yourself. I can't make you feel secure in your life. Yep. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> well, coffee time. That's right. Coffee I need a cheers. Boom. Oh Wait. gosh, my cup's all dirty. Mine's empty, so that was fake. <laughs> <laughs> I already I already drank it. I should pour some whiskey in here to really uh, get me ready for the day. No. Do a little Bailey's coffee. <laughs> I don't even have hard, hard liquor on me. But anyway. All right, my love. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh, wait, and then I'll see you. We'll talk tomorrow about the lecture. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow. She emailed us. Oh, I didn't see yet. Mm. Yeah. So if you want to take out any parts, you can just put it onto Premiere and then take okay. it out. Okay. That's what I did. I might so, just roll just so it can show us our real peop- our real lives. Yeah, for sure. Um, so click uh, to stop recording before we